So let us say you are tasked with hosting a PDF file inside of your Elixir Phoenix application. The first question that'll come up is where do you actually store it? So inside of the uh, assets folder in the root of your Phoenix project, you will see folders for things like CSS and JavaScript, and then a folder called static. Inside of static, you basically place any kind of asset that you don't want uh, compiled or optimized, such as like CSS or JavaScript. These assets are basically just copied into the appropriate folder when the build happens. So for our case, uh, we have created a folder called reports and we have included the 2020 report, the big important report, and that's gonna sit there. And then when your application is compiled or uh, packaged for release, what'll happen is, is the assets folder is uh, copied into priv static and you can see here, these are basically the compiled down app CSS files and JavaScript files. And then you can see our report here. Uh, it's inside the reports folder. The important thing to note is that while static, you will see static in the kind of source tree here, you shouldn't touch it uh, because this is kind of like a compile time uh, result. And you can kind of tell that because it's part of the actual git ignore file, uh, priv static. So we don't actually want those things within our uh, GitHub repo. The next question that's going to come up is how do you link the file? So we're going to open up our template here and you can see uh, we have a link here on the site called download the report and we're going to link to it pretty much like we link to any other kind of path. Um, we've got the link helper. Uh, we've got the string that we're going to be the link and then we have the two, which is the route. Uh, so here routes uh, dot static path and then we pass in the connection and then the path to the asset that we want to link to. This looks very similar to all of our other routes like routes, short link path and so forth. Now, when you click that link, you're actually going to see an error. It's going to say no route found for, uh, you know, get reports 2020 report.pdf. Um, this is because you actually have to do one more change. So inside of your endpoint file, there will be the configuration for plug.static. This is the plug that kind of takes care of hosting and uh, responding to the static assets. So you can see it's been pre-configured to store things like, or, or I'm sorry, resolve things like CSS, fonts, images, and so forth. What we're gonna need to do is actually add the reports folder to the end of that. And then if we go back, and we'll refresh the page. Now we click download the report. Now it actually works.